Hello and welcome back to this week's edition of WTHS News at Home. I'm Ari Giorgenti, and although we may not be in the studio, we are still dedicated to informing you. Due to COVID-19, the district recently had to switch to online learning. THS students and athletes have been saddened that their seasons are cut short. But despite that, they are still practicing regularly in order to be in top shape for when we return. Clara Caney and Robert Hooper are just some of the students continuing to make progress for their next season. Robert says he has been doing long distance runs and some sprint workouts to stay in shape and that his coach has set up a workout plan for them. Track and cross country teams have been getting sent messages by the coaches over a mine and we've been sent like workout plans over a few weeks and stuff like that which days tell us to run easier, which ones to run harder and a lot of sprint workouts and stuff like that. From land to water, Claire and the swim team have been practicing too. Her coach is sending them workouts Monday through Friday except for one resting day. She said they start with a warm up then move into their main set. We'll start with a warm up which normally contains jumping jacks and lunges, just little things, not, nothing too serious yet. And then we'll stretch and pray like we normally would at practice. And then we go into our main set, which changes every day. And normally there's some running involved. And then after that, he gives us a Bible verse to end on a high note. Not only are the students working hard, the coaches are also putting in lots of effort. Coach Bishop says that although the Lady Wave volleyball season has ended, they are still waiting to hear about when they can have tryouts and resume practices. And even if they aren't in the spirit, the coaches are still checking up on each other and keeping in touch with their students. We are trying to love on each other and kind of just keep tabs on each other. Coach Martin sent out some workouts, but um, we're loving on our seniors at this really unusual time. And um, we're hoping to just send them out with lots of love from Lady Wave Volleyball. So stay tuned. And even though Dr. Moore is leaving Tupelo as our athletic director, he still has a bright lookout on the future of THS sports. Well, I shared some information with my coaches that the Mississippi High School Association sent um, about opening summer workouts June the 1st. So June the 1st is a critical date. So for the last couple of weeks, my coach has been preparing to start that schedule June the 1st. It's great to see that although we will not be returning to school this semester, our THS athletes and students are still keeping up their spirit with the rest of their teams. I can't wait to see them in action next season. The Tupelo spirit never dies. Tupelo spirit's always alive. It might go dormant, and if you see these green fields in the background, two or three months ago in the wintertime, they were dormant. They were not growing, they weren't green. And the season came in the springtime and they flourished and became green again. This pandemic has put us in a bit of a dormant state with the Tupelo spirit and athletic community. So we're trying to do the best we can with promotion and uh, with athletes that are going on to colleges and things like that. Uh, but the Tupelo spirit is something that's been alive for all my lifetime and will remain that way forever, I think. Um, it's an optimistic view, an optimistic view of tomorrow's another day. Uh, we'll get past this. Uh, we'll get past it together. But until then, we have to keep flattening the curve. Here's Ava with more on how to stay safe at home. At the beginning of the year, if you asked your average American what COVID-19 was, you would be clueless. Now, in the midst of a pandemic, it's a term we know all too well. COVID-19 is a respiratory illness that can have serious effects on those infected. It has invaded our jobs, our social lives, and our school. I spoke with Dr. Max Taylor, an infectious disease doctor with over 40 years of experience, to learn his opinion on how this virus spreads. It's it spread person to person. Sometimes it's in the air or aerosolized. Sometimes it's in little droplets in the air like mucus. Sometimes it's direct contact. Another topic of debate is the contagiousness of this virus, which has led to varying attempts around the world to slow the spread. But what exactly does contagious mean? Contagiousness. Think about a wrestling match, WWE. In one corner is your immune system, and the other corner is the germ. And the germ we're all talking about right now is the COVID-19 or coronavirus. They're fixing to get into a wrestling match. And if you're not very immune, or if the whole community is not very immune, it's gonna spread very quickly through there. Because of how contagious this virus is, school was postponed for a week after spring break. 
But as the virus continued to spread more rapidly, our governor was forced to close schools for the rest of the year. At first, I was kind of excited to not have to go back to school for another week. But then I got to thinking about it, and the more and more I stay in this quarantine, the crazier I get and the more I realize how much I like school. School being closed doesn't just affect students' schoolwork, but also their extracurriculars. Daniel Robbins is a member of Madrigals, and he gives some insight into what their practices look like now. It's like over Zoom, and we have to turn off our mics. It's it's a weird thing, kind of, but it, it, it's not bad. Our lives have been turned upside down by COVID-19, but it won't be this way forever. By following the government's guidelines, we can slow the spread of this virus. Do your part and practice social distancing so that we can get back to normal. I'm Ava Lacey, WTHS News. Thanks, Ava. Yesterday, 475 of our graduating seniors were able to pick up their cap and gowns for this year's unique graduation. It will be held May 6th through May 8th, and details are still being finalized. In the meantime, each senior will receive a personalized yard sign featuring their senior portrait in honor of all of their hard work and dedication. And they will also be receiving a complimentary graduation DVD. That's all we have for this week's show. See y'all next week.